Hello bandits. Today we're taking a look into the space trading and combat simulator from Little Green Men Games Starpoint Gemini 2. Again, better late than never, as Starpoint Gemini 2 actually saw release a few years ago. However, recently the Little Green Men released a gold pack for Xbox One, which includes the base game, plus three expansions. Starpoint is a little hard to describe, but if pressed we'd go for an illegitimate love child of Star Trek Online, Elite Dangerous and Sid Meier's Pirates. You can live the life of a starship captain, either following the main storylines, or just free roaming and interacting with what's around you. With opportunities to play your way and a lot of space to do it in, Starpoint doesn't feel as dated as it should. And while the visuals are of course a little lacking compared to today's titles, it's still a fairly pretty game, where the in-depth gameplay options more than make up for some slightly under par graphics. Whether you want to follow in your father's footsteps in the story missions or simply bumble about space, there's enough to do to keep you going for a little while as you rank up and upgrade your ship's systems and even the ships themselves. Starpoint Gemini 2 is officially rated by Peggy at 12 years and older, and we'll run that down for you just here. Violence 6. Part of space life will see you either attacking or simply being attacked as you make your way through hostile space or with tasty cargo. All of the action here is outside your ship, however, and while there are explosions, you'll not be seeing any blood or gore. Drugs 3. Again, as all you'll be seeing is the outside of your spaceship, you'll not be partaking yourself. However, you can legitimately make a living in Starpoint by smuggling contraband items, including drugs of multiple sorts. Discrimination, gambling, sex, online fear and language all get zero, having no part in Starpoint Gemini. With the rundown complete then, how does this three-year-old title stack up? Graphics 6. We'll make no bones about it, the ships and stations you'll come across along your way are not up to today's standards. There are also some frame rate issues as well from time to time. The background effects though are still very pretty and planets and nebulae are always nice to look at. Story 8 The story itself is actually pretty good, though a little stunted in places. With the three DLCs as well as the original story you'll have a lot to play through and it's definitely an enjoyable narrative even if slightly let down by the sound. 7. The soundtrack itself and the in-game effects are really nice. In fact the first thing that struck us as we loaded was the quality of the score. However marked down substantially here for having some pretty abysmal voice acting during the story segments. Replayability 8. There's plenty to get your teeth into here, and while you can follow the story, there's also a lot of fun to be had from popping off mining, or even attacking pirates and anarchists, boarding and hopefully stealing their ships, or performing different freelance missions which you can find on your star map. And that's before you start in on the DLC. Satisfaction 8 Starpoint Gemini 2 hits us in all the places a good game should. With freedom to act as you like, but a good story if you need something to follow a space setting and some beam lasers and we're once more into the breach dear spaceship captains we've definitely enjoyed the experience good clean fun here but let down by the voice acting and visuals which might jar those expecting sleek 2017 graphics the thing that's got to us the most though is that while we love playing starpoint we can only at the moment imagine how much better it could be if we could have friends alongside that's all from us today, don't forget to check out the full extended review as well as more gaming news, opinion and humour at pixelbandits.org or subscribe here to keep up with just about everything.